Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about adding fractions, but it's a little bit more sophisticated than the one that we did previously. Okay, and I hope that you've had the opportunity to practice through some of the exercises. Okay, so uh, this one we'll just start by way of introduction. I've got something like two and a half, I'm going to add that to three and one quarter. Okay, well, one of the principles that we've been talking about quite a bit is to make sure that these are equivalent fractions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this like this. Okay, I've chosen the bottom number to be four. Well, that's okay. I can leave that as just uh, three and a quarter. This one I'm going to change to two and two over four. And if you looked at the previous videos, that will give you some idea of how I've done that. Okay, so it's now fairly straightforward to be able to add these fractions together. All I would do is I would add the whole number, so two plus three is five, and then two quarters plus one quarter is three quarters, so the answer would be five and three quarters. Okay, I hope that's all right for you. The basic principle to that doesn't change at all, even when the numbers get a little bit more sophisticated. So let's have a look at this one. So I've got six and five twelves. I'm going to add that to three and one six. Okay, I need to make sure the bottom numbers are the same. So I'm going to make it twelve. So six and five over twelve. I'm going to add that to three something over 12. I've multiplied that 6 by 2 to get to 12, so I'm going to multiply the top by 2 as well, so that's going to be 2. And then I'm going to add the whole numbers, 6 plus 3 is 9, okay, and I've got 5 over 12 plus 2 over 12, 7 over 12. Alrighty, and that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, so Hopefully there's a couple of examples that will work okay for you and there are some follow-up exercises that you can have a look as well. Finally, I'm just going to give you one that's just a slight different variation on it and that's going to be 6 and 5 over 12 and I'm going to add that to 3 and 5 over 6. Okay, so same principles to begin with in that we have to make these bottom numbers exactly the same. So it's going to be 6 and 5 over 12 plus 3 and something over 12. Same again, I've multiplied that by 2, so I'm going to multiply the top by 2 and I get 10 over 12. All right. This is where it's slightly different and you need to be aware of working with mixed numbers and top heavy fractions, but I've got 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 twelves plus 10 twelves is 15 over 12. Okay, now that is kind of the right answer, but it's just better to tidy it up a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take 12 of those twelfths and make that into a whole. So what we end up with is 10 and 3 twelfths left over. And you need to have a look at some of the other videos about dealing with top-heavy fractions. It's this 15 over 12 that you need to deal with. So if I just uh, explain that over here, I've got 15 over 12 is exactly the same as one whole and then three twelve. So what I've done is I've taken that one whole and I've added it to this nine and that then becomes ten and three twelves. Okay, now maybe you've spotted the deliberate error at this particular point where when you're dealing with fractions it's always a great idea to reduce them as much as you possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my final answer which is 10 and this 3 over 12 I'm going to divide through by 3 so that becomes 10 and one quarter as my final answer. Okay, so there's three different sums there on the board that I hope uh, are useful to you. Please have a look at the exercises and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.